It's just a matter of time until someone gets hurt. That's what police are saying about a lack of crossing guards in one school district. Our Marianne Martinez joins us live from Fort Worth with what the community can do to help. Marianne? Well, Gilma, crossing guards are only assigned to schools with fifth graders and younger. So sometimes we're talking about kids this high who may be crossing the street by themselves, and police worry they just won't be seen. No incidents at this point, but it's only a matter of time. Wait, right here, and I'll get you across. In one area of Fort Worth near Keller, the city is short 15 crossing guards. The idea of her kindergartner crossing the street alone makes this mom extremely nervous. Them darting out in front of a car, like not paying attention. People are still testing, texting or on the phone and they don't put attention that it's uh, more when it's the time for the school. The area facing the guard shortage is within Fort Worth city limits, but the schools are part of Keller ISD. Police believe the area's demographics could be why. We don't have the elderly demographics that we have here in Fort Worth. We have a lot of retired grandparents that cross here. Up in the Keller, it's a lot younger demographics. If you're interested in becoming a crossing guard, go to our website, cbsdfw.com. Reporting from Fort Worth, Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News.